Shalom, covering my name Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Breaking news, absolutely. This actually happened on Friday. The photo you see here is Norwegian and, of course, Russian military uh, officials meeting together in Moscow to try to work out the differences of the situation that has kind of gotten out of hand over uh, with the European Union constantly inciting that Russia is the big bad boogeyman. And of course, that all started under President Barack Hussein Obama, the former president of the United States, uh, ratcheting up all of this uh, Russia phobia and of course causing a made on coup in Ukraine orchestrated by the CIA and, and then of course, toppling the, the, the President Yanukovych, sent him into exile. And if it wasn't for Russia, we would have had a massacre of the civilians in Crimea as they've been trying to do to the civilians in eastern Ukraine. But finally, some heads have cooled down and they're trying to get together. The article title was, Whoa, they are talking again. First meeting between Russian and Norwegian defense ministers since 2013. The article reads a little bit here. A mutual wish to exchange information about military activities and contribute to avoid misunderstandings, says the Norwegian defense ministry. In short note, informing about Friday's meeting in Moscow. In 2014, Norway had halted all their military cooperation with Russia uh, because of what they deemed to be uh, you know, wrong actions of Russia to annex Crimea. But that has changed now. Since the halting of the cooperation between Russia and uh, Norway, they're now trying to meet once again. No politicians were there at the meeting there to try to avoid any misunderstandings as the article goes on to speak about. And moving on into other issues about Russia, uh, we see that Russia, after the shooting down of the Su-25 and their pilot was killed by terrorists there on the ground, the Al-Nusra front, there has been conflicting reports, whether it's Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra. Uh, Sputnik News has also reported that it was Al-Nusra. They had claimed responsibility. Al-Qaeda claimed responsibility. But Al-Nusra certainly is a Turkish-backed militant group. Uh, and Russia is conducting a massive attack uh, using, of course, their high-precision weapons, the cruise missiles that they had on their ships, sending them in taking out those terrorists. And since then, uh, Russia has also uh, asked the Syrian government to bring in their special forces. They're conducting an op-ed, op, a military op in Idlib, where Russian, the Su-25, uh, was shot down. They're actually looking for the remnants of the a man pad, a U.S.-made missile that took down this plane so that they can try to trace its origins. Russia does believe it was a third-party group that actually sent that rocket inside of the area. And, you know, if I could be of any assistance to President Putin on this issue here, we think we know exactly who did it. We think we know who that third party is. And without saying anything, let me just kind of give you a picture of what I'm talking about, Russia. I think this is the culprit of the one that actually brought in that man pad and armed that, you know, those Turkish, uh, what do you call them? terrorists that are inside of Syria, the al-Nusra, and all these other groups that are inside of there. So I think that, you know, a word always is a thousand words, you know, can speak for this. So I think that's my thoughts on that there. Kind of prove that point here. We have this on here on Ivan uh, Sodorinko posted this on face, uh, Twitter today. It says, Syria pro-militia activist says this morning a large convoy of uh, Falak al-Sham and Nur al-Din and al-Zinki movement left through the openings at uh, Kapara Lusin towards Turkey to participate in the Olive Branch operation. Activist says, says they want to storm Der Balat, Der Balat Afrin. All the terrorists just seem to flock over to Turkey. I guess they must be paying these guys pretty good. In support for Erdogan and the portrayal of the people of Al-Sham, just now a large convoy of Feyfak, Al-Sham, and Zinki leaving through the opening of Kafir Lusim from the liberated north uh, in, in the direction of Turkey to participate in the olive branch. But you know, oddly enough, there have also been some of the groups there that are loyal to Al-Nusra that are defecting saying they're not willing to fight against the, the people of Afrin, the Kurdish people. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.